Hello, everybody. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've been <clears throat> I've been preparing myself since um, this was a short short um, preparation. I just uh, I saw what the dollar was doing two days ago. I had the idea of the program. Ideally, I should have created more time to should have created more time for this, but I just wanted to have something done. Um, first of all, I'd like to know if all of you can hear me. So you can unmute your mic to talk. Let me know if you can hear me before we just go into the session proper. <clears throat> can you guys yeah. hear me? Yes, we can yeah. hear you. Yes, we can we hear you. Good evening, everyone. We can hear you. We can hear you. Uh, I hear you. Let me meet everybody back. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much. Um, I'm very. It's, it's good that you can all hear me. Um, so this is also it's also live streamed on YouTube. So meaning that if by adventure this place Zoom gets filled, I don't know if it's going to get filled. But I just like to prepare for that um, because this Zoom can only take hundred people. So if we get hundred people and you get logged out for internet or any other thing, you can always go to. You can always go to yeah. you can always go to YouTube. Yeah. So you can go, go to YouTube if you are not here. Um, so I had to create that option. Um, yeah, so let's just go straight to business uh, for the sake of our time. Um, yeah, so you can drop stuff in chat too. Um, yes, 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 yes. So you can drop things in the chat. You can drop messages in the chat. I can see it. My assistant can also see the see it. Um, Florence, just help me. Yeah, my assistants can also see it. My team members can see it. So if there's any help you need, drop it in the chat. So let's go straight to business. Um, yeah. So the theme of today's session is three different ways to earn in dollars. And um, that's what I'll be talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'll be talking about. And um, so there's a particular, there's a particular, this is not, I'd love to start with, but I don't see it. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's go straight to business. Uh, three different ways to earn in dollars from the comfort of your home in Nigeria. Now, for those in Nigeria, for some of you in Nigeria, I believe you would have seen what you would have seen what dollar is doing. Um, people woke up to figures, uh, to dollar saying one thousand to one thousand anything. Um, to uh, people woke up to figures of. Uh, for for pounds saying 1350 for those in nigeria you can you are well familiar with it and that's that's one major reason i wanted to I'm not using this that's one major reason i wanted to have this so that we can all learn yeah. trying to do something but I think I'll just go straight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to stall to wait for more people to enter if I go straight to business. Um yeah, but this is okay. Maybe meant to record this too. Thank God I didn't start following all this. Um yeah, YouTube live stream can be edited. I meant to record. Yes, I didn't record. Yeah, I, I was trying to look for a particular picture. Um, let me see. I to look for a particular picture. That's no problem. I can start without it. Yeah, sure. I'll put it in my slides. Why did I remove it? Nothing like that. All right, it's okay. Yeah, so. Once again, um, 
Good evening, everybody. Whether you are you're joining us on link uh, on Zoom or you joined us on YouTube, welcome to this session. Wow, we're talking about three different ways to earn in Nigeria, and um, this is going to be a. It's going to be this session is going to be into three different parts. Some of you are familiar with one of the parts. Some of you are familiar with every. Some of them, uh, two of three of them. Some of you have heard about all these things before. Some of you are already making more dollars from them. Yeah. But whether you're making dollars from them or not, I just wanted to pay attention. Uh, this will be divided into three different parts, as I've said. And um, I just wanted to follow me on this journey as I put you through these three different ways and I would have some extra. So when in dollars, especially if you're in Nigeria, whether you're not based in Nigeria too, just learn for the sake of having a good currency. Now, my name is Benga DB. And um, I like to call myself a proud teacher. I'm a proud teacher because I've been able to train a lot of people and they've been able to get results. So that's why I call myself proud teacher. And well, students also call me proud teacher too. Uh, but this is what I look like. And my profile, I've had a lot of people, I've had thousands of people. I've created foundations, I've created um, businesses, I've created um, platforms that have helped people to earn in dollars from their home. I've had a lot of Nigerians. For, for, for more than eight years now, I've been helping people across space. Now, Part one is going to be freelancing and remote work. Now, this is the this is the niche I'm very, very familiar with. Now, the theme of this session says three different ways to earn in uh, three different ways to earn in, in dollars. Now, I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that um for do, especially as I said, and I'm going to be called going deep into for those in Nigeria, you need to understand that. The currency is not in your favor. The currency does not favor you or does not pay you. And you need to find a way to buffer yourself, you know, protect yourself from the currency. Now, it's important that, you know, I know some of you already do that, as I've said at the beginning, but it's, it's important that you find ways to earn in this currency because if you don't do that, trust me, you won't be able to, you won't be able to protect yourself from currency issues. Yeah, now, so as I said, it's going to be three sessions and the first part I'll be talking about freelancing and remote work. This is the niche I'm very, very good at. Now, a lot of people have heard about freelancing. I know some of you, you've seen people talk about freelancing before. I know some of you have seen people um, earn dollars here and there, but what is it about? So as I said, this is going to be the first part of the session and we have three. This is going to be broken into three parts. All the three parts, I'm just trying to repeat myself again. All the three parts, is how, they are all going to be helping you to earn in dollars. All the three parts. The first part, second part, and the third part. Now, this is the first part. Remote work and freelancing. Now, so what is remote work? Basically, remote work is simply earning from uh, home. That's the definition of remote work. No matter how people define remote work for you, this is just the, the, the best definition I can I can say. Yeah, remote work is you earning from home. Simple. It's as simple as that. Now, and what is freelancing? Freelancing is someone who does not commit to a single employer. Simple. It means it's someone that is someone that um, you work you work independently. You work for several clients. You work for several people. That's who a freelancer is. Now, you can either you can do remote work. You can work remotely, um, full time or part time. And um, when you work remotely, your digital skill sets you apart. Now, I start, I'm starting with this because this is what I'm very good with. We're also going to have practical sessions. I will show you some practicals. So just follow me on this journey. And remember, as I said, we are in, it's, it's going to be into three parts. Now, I like to, you know, this is just the only testimony I will share. I have plenty of testimony, but let me just, let me just show you this testimony. Now, this is one of my a students who learned freelancing. And I like to show his story and I didn't talk about his stories because you can see the impact on his uh on his life. Now I was in a conversation with him two days ago where he was telling me about how one of his cousins was speaking with his sister and they were like, What does he do for a living? They said he's a freelancer, and they were asking them that do they make money from that freelancing? And the sister answered that they said, Oh, yeah, he's doing okay. Now you are telling me, well, I like that she, she's, she was conservative. But doing okay is someone earning about $200,000. That's the definition of doing okay. Now, Peter has gone from someone who has earned $1,000 to someone who has done $200,000 from freelancing. And I'm going to show you how, the, how he did it. I'm going to just show you some practicals on 
how he was able to have it happen for himself. Now, this is someone who in a year, he does about $120,000 per year, and he does about $3,000 five in some weeks. Not This is not consistent, but his bad week is about $2,025, and his good week is about $3,035, 4K. But at least he averaged this figure. Now, what does he do? How does he do it? He uses, he's a freelancer. He uses freelance platforms. That's what he does. Now, most of these platforms, you're already familiar with them. And I know some of you in this meeting already have done or earned dollars one way or the other. For those of you who are not, who have not, who are not earning dollars yet, you are the one I'm showing this one too. Now, these are platforms like Upwork, People Per Hour, TopTal, and remote jobs platforms like Flex Jobs, Angel List, it's called Well Found Now. We work remotely, remote if there are, there's a whole lot of them. And I like to share that. See, the landscape of freelancing is very, very big. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of ways for you to earn as a freelancer. Like the platform that you can become a freelancer in is so, so much that you, should, you can't even afford to limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. Try different platforms. I see a lot of people, you know, on Upwork. And if you are able to make money on Upwork, fine, it's good. And if you are struggling on Upwork, why not try LinkedIn? If you are struggling on LinkedIn, why not try Fiverr? Why not try Freelancer? I met a lady who was making 3K from Freelancer. Now, Freelancer is a platform that I've not had good experience with. But who says, since it works for people, like it works. You just need to learn how it works. There's Guru, there's people. As in, there's a whole lot of all these platforms. Now, don't limit yourself. Once again, don't limit yourself to one platform. Like one platform can work for you, yes, but don't limit yourself. Now, I like to say something. When I, this is what I tell all my students. Now, the goal is not to earn from Upwork because most of them, they limit, they, they, some of my students, their goal is, oh, I'm not successful on Upwork. I'm not doing this on Upwork. The goal is not to earn from Upwork. The goal is to earn dollars. Now, if, if Upwork is giving you the dollars, fine. If LinkedIn is giving you the dollars, I have a student of mine who, you know, beginning of this year, she started freelancing, beginning of this year, She's making, she made, there was a month, she made 10,000 USD in a month and she got the client on LinkedIn. So with that kind of person complain that Upwork is not working for her. So please, the goal is, see, as you can see this freelance platform like landscape, yeah, you should not be limited to one platform. You know, they are, they are platforms and they have, they, they, they need to make money for themselves. That's why Upwork will continue to increase connect and increase blah, 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 give you a uh, boosted connect, give you boosted profile, boosted project catalogs and so on. Because they are a business and they want to make money. You are also a business. You need to think for yourself. You know, you need to think of ways that or platforms that will get you the result that you want. And remember what I said at the beginning of this slide. Your goal is to earn dollars. Your goal is not to earn dollars from Upwork. Because if you are limited to Upwork alone, you continue to feel demotivated. Oh, Upwork is not working for me. I've had people that have shifted their attention to LinkedIn when Upwork was not working. And they've been able to make a lot for themselves. I will be able to show you some of these things practically in our practical session for the first part. Remember I said this is going to be in three parts. Now, so, please, if you have if you have questions, you leave them to the end of the session. I'll be able to put them through so that we don't get digressed. Now, um, now, one of the things you need to know is that the four fundamentals, and people ask me questions like, um, why am I struggling on more work? Or why am I struggling as a freelancer? Or why am I not earning dollars? Why am I not doing this? Why am I not doing that? And I've said from nine years of experience, your if you can master these four fundamentals, yes, there are other things to master. But if you can master these four fundamentals, you are good to go. If you have a good niche, if you have a good profile, if you know how to search and apply for the right jobs, if you know how to write, submit good proposals. Now, the thing about these fundamentals is that I created these fundamentals for Upwork but they work for every freelance platform. So as I said, now remember I said this, you are not limited to one platform. So I, I try to teach and I try to show people fundamentals because by showing you fundamentals, you are able to apply it. And let's talk about these four fundamentals, your niche. You need to have the right skill. Now, understand that some skills, see, let me tell you the blunt truth here because remember that I want to teach you, or I want to show you how to make dollars, like so that you are not limited by $1 figure changing. You need to be strategic when you are selecting niches. Let me, I want to tell you some blunt truths, maybe some things I don't say. First off, some niche have more jobs than others. Some niche are more competitive than others. So yes, I'm not saying run away from competition. Competition makes you better. I'm only saying be strategic. Some niche have scarce number of jobs. 
you will sit down and you maybe you see one or two jobs or three jobs. What some other niche have like 50. Why you are seeing three jobs for a particular niche? Another niche has 50 to 100 jobs at the same time. Like the point I'm trying to say is this: not all niches are born equal. You need to know that. So that's why your niche is see, if you don't have the right niche that is compet or that gives you the, the best box. And when I mean box, I mean dollars, you would struggle. Now, another thing when it comes to niches, you can pay attention to trends. There was a time crypto was trending where if you know how to write crypto, white paper, crypto, everything, you will just be making money anyhow. Right now, let me tell you what is trending. AI. AI is trending now. Now it's on the downward trend. It was it, it was first on the upward trend. It's currently on the downward trend before another thing picks up. There was a time NFT was trending. Now it's LMT went up and it went, it crashed. But another thing you can do, what I'm trying to tell you is this, when it comes to niche is that you can pay attention to trends and see how you can combine trends with your niche. So what do I mean by that? How can you influx this current trend where a trend is now a buzzword? How can you, so let's say you're a writer, for example. How can you say you know how to use AI to write or you know how to use AI to research? Let's say you're a designer. How can you talk about how you can design with AI? Let's say you're a coder or something. I just don't get, I'm just, whether you say you're a data analyst, how can you say you can use AI to fast track your analysis or fast track your coding? I know people that they use AI. I was in a friend's place. He works remotely, you know, and I saw him, he was using AI, he's a, he's a developer. He was developing, writing his own code and he was using ChatGPT to write code and he was comparing both. He was using that, you know, making his work faster. So that's how you can use trend for, to your advantage when it comes to niches. Now your profile, I have said this over and over again, your profile talks for you when you are not there. So you need to pay attention to that. Um, the problem people make when it comes to profile is that you have these skills, but you don't highlight them. You expect people to know. When you know that you won't be there to defend something, it's best for you to make it explain yourself as possible so that when you explain yourself very well, people can see it and they will not even make assumptions because in your head, don't just say they should know that I know how to do this thing. Your profile needs to highlight all your strengths, your skill set. And I've said something on profiles. You need to ensure that your tagline on your profiles contains your skill set, not just deep down in your overview. That's that you need. To, that's another thing you need to watch out for. Now, the next thing is jobs you apply for. Now, just searching for jobs. One of the things, using Upwork as a case study, for example, now, remember I said you should not be limited to Upwork, but I'm using it as a case study. Using Upwork as a case study. When it comes to searching for jobs, one mistake people make is that, let me now talk about number three and number four together. One mistake people make is that they think is the proposals they are submitting is the problem. And I've said this over and over again. Your proposal, yes, is you need to master proposal. But number three is as important, if not more important than number four. In the sense that if you write a good proposal, if you write the best proposal in this world, and you apply for the wrong job, you won't get it. You will think, oh, my proposal is a problem. No, it's the job you're applying for. The client you're applying for, the job you're applying for, the kind of client details you are noticing. Now, from a client details, in the practical, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to show you anything I see. I'll use it as a case study for you so you can see. The point is this. From a client details, you will know whether a client will waste your time or not. From a client details, you will know if it's worth your time to apply for this job or not. So it's not just about, oh, I can do this job. Let me apply for it. Now, these are the things people make mistake about. And they'll be like, oh, I'm struggling as a freelancer. And there's no dollars in your pocket. Remember, we're talking about three ways to make dollars here. Now, the next one is proposal you submit. Now, the beauty of this number four is that I have created templates. Now, some of them are paid templates. Some of them are free templates. And I don't mind sharing them. These templates, they are plug and play templates. I have a particular template by Sam. And I have 10 people that have plugged and played this same template. And they've all gotten jobs. I have saved 10 of them. I'm going to add them to my updated course. You know, that's not what we're here to talk about. But... For proposals to submit, you don't even have problem with proposals again when there are templates out there that you can just copy and paste. So user, this now funny thing about this template is that one of the things Samuel did, for example, is that Samuel got forty-five templates from me, and he picked like two or three of them and he matched them together, and he created a wonderful template. Now that hybrid template that Samuel created is what people don't even people don't even need to pick anything. People just plug and play Samuel's template, and I've seen I know. More than 10 people have gotten jobs with that particular template. 
So master these four fundamentals, very, very important. Whether you're a newbie, whether you're a peanut earning freelancer, whether you're a mid-level freelancer or not. Master, or you're not even into freelancing, or you don't even have any knowledge of what freelancing is about. You are just starting today. Please master these funda four fundamentals. Now, talking about number one, their skills and their high income skills. Remember, I went deep into talking about your niche and I say not all niches are equal. And you need to specialize in the right niches because when you specialize in the right niche, then you'll be able to, you know, commit yourself very well. Now, basically, the right niche is what will help you. Now, high income skills, the beauty of high income skills is that when you have high income skills, you'll be able to earn big. That's the beauty of high income skills. And that's why I can, I, I like, I like, I can talk about high income skills any day, any time. Because when you have skills that have the highest value in the marketplace, people would pay you well. People will pay you big for your skills. People will pay you well for your for what you are bringing to the market. So that's what high income skills are. And you can learn high income skills from you know anywhere and everywhere. So basically, you can learn high income skills from YouTube. You can learn high income skills from Coursera, from EDX. This now another thing, another point is I even remember is this: all uh, all major platforms are currently creating free courses. What do I mean by major platforms? So Google has some free courses that they've created. Um, Amazon just created some free courses. IBM have some free courses they created. Facebook has some free courses. Microsoft have some free courses. I even have about 20 of Microsoft free courses. You know, um, some of them are included in my free, I share some free skills with materials. Now all these guys, I've mentioned about five of them. They all have free courses. And I'm not even talking about YouTube, where feed free code camp on YouTube, simply learn on YouTube, Edureka on YouTube, and, and so on and so forth. Now, these are courses that they are, they are free. As in when I mean free, I mean free. So, yes, learn to pay for stuff, learn to you know use your money to buy knowledge because remember you pay school fees to go to school, but also understand that if you don't have money, that's not your an excuse. There are freebies out there that you can start with. When you start with the freebies and you learn one or two things, you can convert those things. You can convert those things to money. You know, so freebies, trust me, there's a lot of freebies out there. I even created, I, I compiled like 15, 20 free courses in a particular Google Drive and I posted it online. I made people just go and access it yourself. And go, as in, I took my time, it took me days to compile this free and those, don't worry, some of the things, maybe, well, at the end, you can remind me. Um, I have some resources that I'm going to share to everybody who are, going to, who are attending this session. So I'll just add it to it. Please, just because the point is this, when you have the right skills, you know, we're talking about this first part of how to earn in dollars, which is freelancing part. When you have the right skills, you can, you can, you know, use this, those right skills to, to earn. And it's as simple as that. You know, it's, it's very, 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 very simple and straightforward as that. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the next point is practicals. Now, let me show you practicals. Let me just show you. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to take you to, uh, I'm going to take you to Upwork and other platforms for freelance in this first part. Uh, let me just make sure that by, you know, in the next 20 minutes, we move to part two. Because I said there are three different ways to earn in dollars, and I'm, this is just part one. And let me just ensure that I run through this one very, very well. Now, let me show you. Okay, let me start with this. Let me show you this. Uh, let, me share. let me show you this. So, first of all, uh, let me show you this. I was running through. I was running through a student's account. Well, I had to, she had to share, she had an issue on her account. She lost her top rated plus status yesterday. So she sent her profile to me. I needed to spot what was wrong and we corrected it. She got a top rated plus status. And this is a student who, she does romance writing, fiction writing. I want you to look at this figure. I'm not gonna show you, I'm not gonna show you her face, but look at this figure. This is someone that last year, this time last year, she had made about 3,005 in a space of one and a half years. And, you know, having the right guidance, I was able to put her through. And before you know it, she's now, she's able to do 10 times in one year, more what she did in the last one and a half years. But the point I'm trying to make is this, it's possible. Uh, she's a student, she's young, 
And trust me, if she can do it, it means you too, you can also do it. But yeah, but that's not what I want to show you here. I would like to show you the practicals. Uh, it's practicals I want to show you here. Yes. Now, so this is in the practicals here. Let's start with Upwork. Let me just show you Upwork practicals here. Um, yeah. So this is Upwork. Now, a lot of people will come to me and they'll be like, I'm struggling on Upwork. I'm not getting jobs on Upwork. Um, what's happening? Now, I've showed in this, in the slide, in the presentation I showed you guys, I showed you that I told you four fundamentals. I mentioned your niche. I mentioned profile. I mentioned um, I mentioned how to search for jobs. I mentioned proposals. Now, let me start with how to search for jobs and proposals. Then I move to showing you profiles. Now, one thing you need to know is this Upwork will always, Upwork will always fine tune their platform as they please. It's, remember I told you, don't be limited by that. They will always fine tune their, their platform as they please. Now, so how do you search for jobs on this platform? Now, you can always see jobs here. You can always see jobs here. You can see them. You can see when you land on this, when you land on the platform, you can always see jobs. Uh, you can see. I There was a reason I refreshed the page. I was seeing two days ago job. I had to refresh the page. So when you land on your on your, on your Upwork account, for example, remember to always, you know, don't limit yourself. And when you see jobs, um, or when you're you not seeing the jobs that you are looking for, just, you know, do a refresher. Now, so the first thing to do is this. The first thing you need to know is how to search for jobs. Now, I don't know what you, any niche you are in. But let's use maybe graphic designer. Let's just use that, that as an example. So if you are a graphic designer, for example, all you need to do is to search. Just click on, you know, you can type it fully, click on it, or you can, you know, you can just type that. There are two ways to search these keywords and categories, and I'm going to show you both. I'll go to, I'm going to run through this ASAP so that you can get this and see the mistakes some of you are, are making, why you're not getting jobs. Now, this is a graphic designer. We just search for graphic design jobs, right? And we've seen about some thousands of jobs. It's still loading. Uh, now, the first thing when you are searching for jobs is to always use filters. Now, what are filters? So we've seen 25,000 jobs. So what are filters? Filters are filters are when you check this, the filters are what you use. So what are the filters here? For example, we have less than five and five to ten. Now I like people using this number of proposal filters because. Why do you want to apply for a job that has 50 people that have applied when you can apply for a job that has five people that have applied? So that's why I like to use these kind of filters. And also use payment verified. Apply for jobs that is guaranteed that a client will pay you. That's why I use those two filters. Now, there are a whole lot of other filters. I'm not going to go deep into all that now, but I'm going to show you all this. Yeah. So this particular one is Upwork. Pay attention. This is Upwork. So now, this is it. With this, a good, with this, you can, as a graphic designer, you can see about 5,000 jobs. Now, what next do you need to do? You can, you know, one of the things I tell people to do is you can check for these jobs, save them, and only deal with um, the right jobs. And also ensure that, I like to tell people that, ensure that you use jobs per page, use 50 jobs per page, because so that you don't scroll and scroll and scroll, next page, next page, next page, and get frustrated. But let's just, let's look at a job, for example. So this one is this. A color consultant that's just the name of the job now for, the, for for every job you see you can always and this is very important before you even click on the job you can always see everything about the job there what's everything about this job this client has five star review you can over your cursor around it so 4.95 is still close to five this client has spent fifty thousand dollars then you click on this job you click on this job for example i'm showing you how to run upwork so just you can just have an idea of how to run on upwork so when you click on this job, for example, remember what I said about number three fundamentals. That is not just about the proposal you submitted, which is number four. Pay attention to number three too, the, out, the jobs you search for. Now, when you look at this, everything you need to know about the client is here. This client is from Australia. This is their time zone. This client has posted this number of jobs. They've hired this number of percentage. They've spent this. They've hired this. They have regularly paid this money. Now, every info you need about this client is here. And this helps you when you are negotiating with the client. You don't want to, so if for a client that pays $5 per hour, you don't want to be telling them $30 per hour or $50 per hour. They will not hire you. You've gotten your info about this client. Now, another thing you can now go down to is you can read more about the client here. Go down, 
read it, read more, read more about this client to tell you the kind of client this client is. Now, if you look at this now, this one says excellent client, but this one says I've not heard about the client for almost a year. So don't be don't be surprised when this kind of client goes to you. Now, because it's 50-50. One person is saying excellent. Another person is saying, I didn't hear from the client. So all the information, everything you need about a client is in the client details. Everything you need is about, about the client is in the client details. So pay attention to that. Then always pay attention to the job activity. Now, when you do that, then and then you should check and apply for this job. I've gone over this over and over again. Now, if this job is something you can do, then you click on apply now. You use Connect to apply for jobs. Now, what are Connect? Connect is Upwork's way of making money for you applying for jobs on their platform. You have up to three profiles. You can use any of them. Yeah, then you just go through this, you know. And I tell people to always use by project, not by milestone, because these by milestones will be calculated by you and the client when you guys are talking. Um, and this is uh, how long will this job take? You use less than one month. Um, yeah, then you just input your cover letter. And when you want, if you want to boost your connect, if you have more connect, you boost your connect, you submit. This is how to apply for jobs on the platform. And this is everything you need to know about applying for jobs on the platform. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. It's as simple as ABC, but people will struggle, you know, without the right guidance. But trust me, if you can just follow instructions and guidance. Now, let me move into, um, um, let me talk about um, profiles, for example. One of the first things I tell people to do is this, check other people in your niche. So let's see, virtual assistant, for example. I knew this, I used to see a lot of virtual assistant. So let's say you're a newbie virtual assistant on Upwork. You don't know how to structure your profile. What do you, what can you do? Just click on talent and click on virtual assistant. You will see virtual assistant on the platform. Now look at this virtual assistant that have 100,000. You can click on our profile and you can learn a lot from our profile. You know, and you don't stick because you don't want to be boxed to a corner. Profile of people that have made a lot of money is not the same with profile of people that are just starting because there are some, the rules don't apply. And this is another secret I'm mentioning in this session. Is because when I deal with my scale up students, it's a different ball game entirely. Now, profile of when you have made money on the platform using Upwork as an example is different from when you've not made money. Your profile has to be different. So don't just because if someone who has made 100k, 200k on the platform has their profile one week, you you tailor your profile. No, 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 no. And that's why I tell people to always check like five people's profile. Now you can see this person's profile. You can see their skills, and you know they, they didn't even put plenty of things on their profile. So you can check another person's profile. This one is from Philippines. Um, you can check the profile. You can see experienced virtual assistant. You can see the skills. Just when you check all these things, they give you an idea of how to you know, structure your own profile. Now, this is one profile from Nigeria. Her name is Glory. And you can see, see, she has, she even has portfolio of things she has done. She's from Oweri. She has earned close to $1,000 on the platform. That's $900, but almost $1,000. She, you can see us. So you can, so you, you can just learn from people's profile, you know, and use that. That's how to use profile. Now I've talked about profile. I've talked about niche. I've talked about searching for jobs. I've talked about submitting proposals. Now all these things, I'm just trying to run through them. Is up. Those are the fundamentals of everything you need. And when you are able to do all this, you are good to go. Now, the point is this: don't limit yourself to up work only. Let's move into remote work or remote jobs. Don't limit yourself to Upwork only. There are other platforms. Um, there are remote jobs platforms. This is one of them. It's trying to load. There's we work remotely. There's Indeed. There's Remotive. Let's load everything. There's Remote OK. I know of Zip Recruiter. I know of Startup uh, Well Found, which I told you Angel List is on my slide. And there's the Genie. There's um. There's Startup Jobs. This particular one, one of my students saw a job there, but if they go on and off. Their site, yeah, you can see, their site goes on. And, let me just leave it. They go on and off. But there's um, there's startup jobs, there's flex jobs. I've just opened how many now? I've opened one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. I've opened eight. There are more than eight, but let's just stick. Let's stick with these eight. As you can see, we have we work remotely. Oh. They are even celebrating 10 years. 
Yeah. So these platforms, for example, they post jobs there. Guys, you can go and apply for jobs on this platform. Now, let me tell you, the disclaimer here is this. The disclaimer here is, is this. When you are applying for jobs on remote jobs platforms, you are applying with a lot of people. It means that you need to apply for a lot of jobs. Now, why I like to use Upwork as a case study is because the amount of time it will take for you, if whether you are a newbie or not, to get a job on Upwork, if you follow the instructions, is faster than if you are using this remote job platform. But if you are not getting jobs, if Upwork is not working for you, then try them. I have students who have used these platforms who have gotten jobs. Now, so this is we work remotely. Always, you know, check the categories. There are a lot of jobs there. Um, one of the things you need to know here, I need to be fast because I'm still in part one. We have part two and part three. Uh, one of the things you need to know here is, um, the, things you, the things you need to pay attention here is this, full-time anywhere in the world. So your location, if since if you are in Nigeria, for example, or Africa, it means we can apply for this kind of job. But if you are in Europe or UK only, it means you can apply for this job. If you are not in, if you are not in, um, what do I mean? If you are not in uh, Europe, if you are not in UK, if you are from US, South America, Asia, for example, you can apply for this job. So that's one thing you need to pay attention to when you are applying on remote jobs platform. Now you can click on these platforms. Remember what I said. Now, you're going to be applying with a lot of people, but you know, you never can tell. You know, you to be the best, sometimes you have to be the best. Always read the job descriptions on these remote jobs platforms and click on apply. That's we work remotely for you. Read the job description, apply for the position, and just apply and apply and apply. You turn your uh you turn your no to yes. Now, this is indeed too. Indeed, too, you know, you can use this, um, you can use the right keywords. Um, remote jobs and you apply. You would apply for a lot of jobs when it comes to remote jobs. Um, remote TV2 is the same thing. So let's say, no, no, let's use customer service here, for example. Let's use customer service, for example, here. So we are looking for remote customer service rules. So you can see the customer service rules that was posted. This one says USA only. This one says USA only. Yesterday, the day they were, this is the day the jobs were posted. Um, then when you see anyone that is any, everywhere in the world, anywhere in the world or that is in your location, that's when you can apply. So this is just an example on how to, you know, use this remote platform. Remote OK has mostly tech jobs. Uh, the number of jobs on this platform has reduced. I don't know why, but that's them for you. Um, ZipRecruiter has some UK jobs mostly. Especially for those in the UK, you can get a lot of remote jobs here. I know ZipRecruiter has the US version, but I don't know why my this one just mostly just that redirects me to the UK version. I don't know why. Uh, but whether you're in the UK, but I know you look, the UK is now Nigerian annex, is the number 37th state of Nigeria. So, but whether you're in the UK, you can apply for remote jobs here for using ZipRecruiter, for example. Um, well found is um is, is for startups. Is formally called angel list, as you can see, formally called angel list. And the same rule applies for the sake of time. I'm, you can say I'm Russian. The same rule applies. There are a lot of jobs on this platform. Um, you can see when the jobs was posted. You can you need to create a profile there using the profile, the same profile things I've talked about. About I have a lot of students who have gotten jobs. You can see design jobs here, yeah, well found. You can see data analytics jobs here. Yeah. Now, once again, when you apply for remote jobs, you would apply. So let me prepare your mind very well. You would apply. I've seen people apply for 50, 100, 200. But one yes can change your story. That's one thing about remote jobs platform. So I'm telling you that this now, preparing your mind so that you not say, oh, I've been, I've sent 10 applications. Trust me, I'm still joking. I've seen people that have sent 400 when it comes to remote jobs platforms. But one yes can be a $100,000 per year contract. So if it takes you to apply 200 times, how many are begged to apply are you doing in Nigeria for those in Nigeria? But if someone says, follow these instructions, do this, just continue to apply for the right jobs, and one yes, you can change your generation. I've seen people that have applied for jobs on these remote jobs platforms that comes with um, JAPA, all expense paid. When I mean all expense paid, a friend of mine moved to Canada, another friend of mine moved to Europe, uh, one of my friends, Netherlands. They got all expense paid jobs from this remote jobs platform. When I mean all expense paid, they took their family with them and everything was paid by the company. So guys, you can, you know, 
apply for these jobs and you can see that you can see the different kind of jobs on these platforms and remember what i've said that you would apply very well um yeah so there's the genie is mostly for ukrainians but you can see some jobs there um there's flex jobs flex jobs have more us and canada jobs uh but sometimes you will see anywhere in the world jobs so i'm just giving you all this idea of out of everything i'm showing you flex job is the only paid one so now let's move to linkedin let me show you linkedin even though it's going to show you my account first so one of the things one of the backup option i show people i tell my students when they struggle is that they should just go to linkedin hmm. Hmm. my first the first thing on my profile is alive um now see the messages i have hmm. people say you are not responding you are not replying messages Whoa. um yeah so now if you you can you can check for linkedin jobs and there are different ways to search for jobs on LinkedIn. So you can check for LinkedIn jobs. Link, they post a lot of jobs on LinkedIn. Now you can type. So let's say you're looking for virtual assistant jobs. I don't know why I keep on going for virtual assistant. So you can click on virtual assistants. And um, let me change this location. This is my location. I'm going to change very soon. Um, so you can click on virtual assistant. Let's say you can do worldwide. So you can click on virtual assistant worldwide. So you can see virtual assistant jobs worldwide. Can you see? Um, you can say you want only remote jobs. You can say you want hybrid. You can say you only remote jobs worldwide. It should show you the results. So it's going to show you all these virtual assistant jobs that are remote worldwide. So let's do another one. Let's do what other one should we do? Let's do content copywriter. If you have anything, you can put it in the chat box. I'll do it. Let's do copywriter worldwide remote. So this is worldwide remote. So, so copywriter jobs in world, worldwide that are remote, you can see. If you want me to help you search for anything on, on LinkedIn, just type in, just give me ideas. Uh, let me see. Course content writing. Uh, yeah, this one is a very, very, it's more like e-learning. Course content writing is under e-learning. E-learning content. Gonna be scarce. Yeah. So, oh, can you see? Head of learning content. I even thought it was gonna be scarce. See, so you can see it's under e-learning. So, curriculum development. Yes, this was the English I'm trying to look for. Curriculum development is under course content writing. Yes. So yeah, let me just see. Let me look at another one. Idea, software developer. That one is even easy. That one is easy. Software developer is the easiest. Software developer. And you see course software developer search worldwide. Software developer jobs. And you see, um, so you can see about a thousand five hundred and something jobs. So and see the remote. So now let's just for the sake of time, because this is still part one. Now for software developer, you can see so LinkedIn is like a backup. There are two ways to get jobs on LinkedIn. Um, outbound, inbound. What I mean, inbound is you developing content yourself and making people discover you. Outbound is you looking for these clients. This is one way to look for clients. So you can look for clients via, um, yeah, look at via the jobs on LinkedIn. You can look for clients via. You can type other things. You can type other search. This is just the job on LinkedIn. So you can look for clients here. You can look for clients by you know posting, joining the right groups on LinkedIn. There are LinkedIn groups that you can join. You can look for clients by looking by following H House on LinkedIn. Let's reset this. Let me go back home. Let me show you. There's something I want to show you. Um, this is what I want to show you. Looking. Looking to hire a content writer. So this is just a keyword. Oh, no. This is just a keyword. You can just type this keyword, and you can see you can use this post. You can click on post, and you can see people that are looking to hire any particular. Uh, you can sort it by latest show results. Now you can tweak this keyword. You can tweak this keyword. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is this: with the right keyword. Uh, you can see people 
who are looking for hiring, 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 hiring. You can see posts of people hiring interns, hiring anything. Just you can type. Um, let's change it to hire web designer. Type it inside LinkedIn. Hire web designer. Um, you narrow it down by posts. See, see. Uh, you can see, so you can see the latest. So you can scroll. Just see, hiring, hiring. You can see. Can you see this one? Hiring, hiring. Can you see? Uh, so there are some keywords like that that you can use on this uh, that would give you these jobs or people that are hiring. Can you see? Hiring, electrical designer. Can you see? Can you see? So you can play around all these things for LinkedIn. See, there's a, see LinkedIn on its own is a, is, a, is a class on how to apply for jobs, how to get jobs on LinkedIn. I've showed you like two different ways. You can go to groups. Um, I'll, I'll recommend, so that we can end this part one. I'll recommend you join the right groups on LinkedIn. Um, when you post, so let's say you're a writer, join writing groups that have like 500,000, like 1 million people. And when you're posting your content on your LinkedIn account, you can also post it in the, those LinkedIn groups. Let's say you're a digital marketer, join the right groups. Now, joining this group with sense, join it with sense, so that when you are posting or when you are talking about, you know, you, you first of all, at least show that you know what you are talking about. Maybe you learned something in data analysis. Join some data analysis groups. Talk about what you know. Maybe just talk about a topic. Or even, when you know, even though you don't know anything to talk about, when you know, when someone talks about a particular topic, rephrase it in your own version. Oh, I read about an uh, analyst Sunday that talked about Power BI. He mentioned how analysis can be done using this, 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 that, that, that. I believe that's also a way to run this, this, that, that, that. And he posts it in all these groups. See, you are getting exposure. That's one way. That's also another way to see. There are about five, six different ways to get clients on LinkedIn. I don't have the time, but I've just showed you. I've showed you two of them. Yeah, I've showed you. I've showed you jobs, looking, for, uh, searching for the jobs using this job. Uh, Place here. I've showed you using posts. Uh, I've mentioned that you can join groups. That's three. I've also mentioned that you can just be posting and attracting. That's four. There are like six different ways. So, yeah. Now, so this is part one. Um, let me just conclude everything here. Um, the idea is this. The idea is this. Let me conclude everything here in part one so that I can move to part two. Yes, sir. The idea is this, guys. Um, you can get clients as a freelancer. You can get clients as a remote worker using all these platforms I've showed you. Um, most of them are free. LinkedIn is free. Um, there's a paid version, but you don't even need that. For starters, you can start with a free version. Um, all you need to do is to learn how to navigate this platform and you would win. So that's the first part I want to show you. Uh, freelancing and remote jobs is one way to go. And that way, if you've not, if you're not earning dollars with that way now, you can start today. Um, you can start learning skills with YouTube, with Coursera, with all the companies I mentioned for free. And in, by the end of this year, you can start earning. If you, if, even if you've not earned a dollar on these platforms today, this is October 21. Before the end of this, this year, you can still earn your first $1,000 if you learn a skill. So let's say, for example, you learned, let me give you a short-term skill. Let's say you, you learned copywriting or you learned Facebook ads. In two weeks, you can master Facebook ads. Now, you can master the theoretical part, but you need to run hard to have the practical knowledge and experience. But let's say after you master the theoretical part in two weeks, for example, the next two weeks, you now say, okay, you want to run some, you get some practical knowledge, you're running some test ads, you're running some $5 ads, you get some knowledge and experience. A client can hire you to help them run their ads. And before you know it, you can be making your first $500, $1,000, and for those in Nigeria, when you convert that to Naira, you know what that is saying. So it means you can make you can make your first $1,000 before the end of this year, $2,000, $3,000, depending on how much you want or depending on how your level. Now, let's move to part two. So that's just part one. That's the first way to earn in, in dollars. Um, let's move to part two. Uh, yeah, let me just move to part two ASAP. Yes. Ah, this is part two. Yeah. Part two is digital products. Um, let me show you how you can make dollars with digital products. I'm going to show you how you can make dollars with digital products. And uh, how you can create it, how you can price it, how you can distribute it. 
I once ran this session for my scale up students. I just taught them one day because I have the knowledge. Um, but let me share this with you guys now so that you can, yeah. If you have questions, please keep it to the end of the session. I'll answer everything together. We're talking about three different parts. So at the end, it's easy for me to answer all the questions combined. So let's move to part two ASAP. So what are digital products? Uh, digital products are a way to make money online. Um, let me give you the background. See, um, because Nigerians, we've been used to physical products. Some of us, at least, we are growing to use, we are growing to the idea of digital products. Um, and we've had the rise of affiliate platforms. And what are affiliate platforms? Affiliate platforms are just middlemen that help a buyer and a seller to meet each other. That's just the definition of affiliate platform. They can call it anything for you, but that's the true definition of affiliates. Now, but digital product, if there are no digital product, there are no affiliates. Um, if there are no physical, there are some, there's, I know some affiliate that do affiliate for physical product. So that's also, it also works, but we're talking about digital products here. Now, digital product is that you can create things in different ways. So part two and part three will be combined. Um, now, so this is, I like to talk about my own story. Uh, let me just run through this ASAP. Um, I used to teach people. I used to, I, I've been teaching classes for free. Then during the pandemic, something happened during the pandemic. Uh, I, I taught a class and a friend of mine, the host of this session just said, why don't you sell your eBooks? Like sell the resources you have to these people. I didn't even know how much to call for them because that was early 2000, um, early 2020. That was like three years ago plus. So I just told them, okay, let me sell this for 2000 era. Because I was I was not sure what, what price will I call what, what price will I call this digital product or these ebooks for semi. I was not sure. I was not sure what to call for the figure. And so at the end of it, I called it 2000 era. I called it 2K. And uh, 10 people bought. I made my first 20,000 naira from digital product that particular day. So that's naira, right? But follow me on the journey. Remember that it's dollars I want to, I want to teach you. Now, this is what the ebook looked like. This is what the ebook looked like then. Um, that was what I sold for 2,000 naira. And over time, the ebook became this. They grew to this. Um, I, be, I made it better. But over time, again, I got a good designer who helped me design my ebook. Now, the point I'm trying to tell you is this. You can start anyhow. Um, don't wait until perfection before you start. Because a lot of people say, oh, I, I have this idea in my brain. I have this knowledge. I have this expertise. Um, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to start. Just start. You will grow and you will become better. Now, remember that I'm going to teach you how to use this digital product to earn in dollars. Follow me. Now, so I also have, I created a course. You know, remember the first thing I showed you is eBooks. I created a course. If you can see the course then, the course was uh, created this way. <laughs> then, that, that was when $120 was still 40 k mm. Got the post. Um, and over time, I ev it evolved to this. It became this. See, imagine, 40 k became $85. Oh, God. Right now, 40 k is less than $40. Now, then... It became this. Um, today, I have a course, a flagship course called um, Freelancer Client Market. It's a digital product. It has not more than 437 sales and counting. Um, yeah, I also have coaching programs um, that I run. These are also digital products. Like digital products can be coaching, can be courses, can be ebooks. Remember that I'm, I want to show you how to earn dollars with them. Now, um, so what is possible? Now, this guy, this guy, is a guy that I follow this guy on, on Twitter, and this guy sold his digital product. And in four days, he made about 140, as you can see here, he made about $440,000 in five days. Yeah, so you can see it here. Let me zoom it for you so that you can see. So, line is not good. Between May 20th this year and May 24th, that's five days, right? Or four days? Five days. Let's say four to five days. He made this particular figure. Now, to call, the, the funny thing about this is that, let me tell you, the funny thing about this is that he relaunched this thing again last month. In total, he has made $320,000.
from this digital product is a cost. He sells the course for two hundred ninety nine dollars or one ninety nine dollars. I've forgotten the figure. So he sells his course and he's been able to make three hundred twenty k this year by launching it twice. Now, before I continue, what I'm going to teach you here, even though I might not go deep, I know someone that charges thirty thousand dollars for teaching you what I'm teaching you right now. If you like, listen. If you want, if you want to pay attention, you can pay attention. If you don't want to pay attention, it's up to you. The day you will meet the people charging this, those figures, maybe that day you come back. And you say you want to learn, but at that time I won't be available. Now, now there's a particular guy on Twitter that I like. Um, this guy, some of you might know him. Um, but one thing I admire about him is his result is that he's been able to make about in a in a space of eight months, he was able to make 150 million naira from his digital products. He has a course he sells, and he made that much money. I also follow a lot of people on Gumroad. Um, this is a particular young boy. This guy. This guy is in, okay, he should be 20, 21 years old now. And in the space of two years, he made $500,000 from a digital product. He sells Notion. Let me tell you what he does. He sells Notion templates. I follow him. I've been following him for three, four, five years now. I've just, I just like him and I just like to, I like to learn and get inspiration from people like that. Um, I have other people I follow on, on, on um, I have a lot of people that they sell their digital products. Someone in this one has made a million dollars by selling 15,000. So one of the things you can do is this. You can divide this by this figure and you'll get the average price of how much they sell their product. So you can just divide this by this. You just do not get how much they sell their digital products for. Yeah, so, so these are people that motivate me and um, yeah. So how do you create your product? I've had people that have come to me, they'll be like, oh, maybe, see, creating your product is simple. All you need to do is to just build once and you sell a million times. Um, choose the right products. Now, let me explain something to you. Sometimes eh, there are a lot of things you guys you know, but you do you think that it's until you become an expert before you can teach people. Now, in the ladder of knowledge, eh, let me explain something to you. And if you don't want to, if, if, if there's anything you're going to pick from this session, it should be this thing. In the ladder of knowledge, you don't need to be an expert. You don't need to be at the top of ladder to teach someone behind you. All you need to do is become, just be 1% more knowledgeable than the, than the next person, you are good to teach the person. That's all. The mistake you make is called maybe the guru mindset. You think it's until you become a guru before you can teach it. You can teach something, you can teach a topic. But please, no, don't make that mistake. I don't want you to make that mistake. You know, you can create a product, you know, whether you're an HR, whether you're a, you're a salesperson, whether, you, see, I've seen people create product on some funny, funny things, how to sleep, how to, to make your children stop crying. And people are buying those products. The digital economy, digital product economy is, is a very big industry. So, and you can be earning in dollars from your house by creating products. Finance, some of the top, let me tell you some of the top industries to create products in. Three top industries. Um, relationship and sex. Um, so if you have anything on relationship or sex, trust me, it sells. Fitness, fitness health and fitness. Then wealth, those three. Those are the top three. I've just you can write it somewhere, keep it somewhere. So you can tell yourself, ask yourself, what what do you know about relationship or sex? Blah, blah, blah. What do you know about wealth? Finance? What do you know about health and fitness that you can sell to people? What knowledge do you have? And funny enough, there's some people don't even need to, you don't even need to. I know of someone that I'm not advising you go to this, this route. I'm just mentioning it. I know of someone that created a course. All he did was to copy Wikipedia. He went to Wikipedia, he Googled a topic, and he copied Wikipedia. He was just reading Wikipedia out loud. Now, two things. He was able to tell people that you don't even need to be an expert to create a product. But other, sometimes, please, ensure that your product is valuable enough. Don't just copy Wikipedia, please. Now, choose your products. Choose what you, you want it to be, eBooks, courses, templates, scripts, anyhow, you just choose it. And, you know, do your research on it and um, create products. Remember what I said about high quality products? Um, you know, just start from where you are. Com anything you want to do, combine it. Whether it is text. See, I know someone that email series. You will buy, you buy their course. They'll call it a course or they'll call it, they can even call it something else. They can call it a masterclass. And it's just going to be email series. There's a way you can do it. 
and I'm going to show you some platforms at the end of this particular session. Now, in those particular platforms, um, there's a way you can create a sequence and you can select, okay, if this, I can automate this system, convert kit is one of those platforms. I'm, I'm going to show you the other platforms. So you can, you can, you can create a drip sequence where if someone buys that digital product, they will get, they'll be getting an email series or they'll be getting the course content, depending on the schedule you want to schedule before. I'll show you how to, how to I'll, do, I'll show you some of the platforms that can help you with it. Now, so these are, those are just digital products. Those are, um, um, yeah, these are ways to, you know, design your product. Now, pricing your product is simple. You know, people used to struggle with pricing. And I like this thing where people says, I saw this from Tony your motor. She says, see, and I, I, I used to tell, see, human psychology is very funny. Pricing is, uh, people interpret expensive to be, mean high quality. So people interpret, when something is very cheap, they mean, they, they, they just interpret it as low quality. Now use this background when you are creating your digital product and um, just consider the value you offer, you're offering your people and, um, you know, ensure that you have your, you know, your target markets, determine who your, what their willingness to pay is and, you know, set your price at that level. Now, um, I did this FCM Google form research. I did a Google form research where I asked people who wanted to buy my course, how much they were willing to pay for the course. And I got ideas and it helped me to create a price for my course, even though I'm going to increase the price this month. But it tells you that, I just wanted to add that. It tells you that guys, you can ask people questions on your social media channels and you will get feedback. 50 something people replied my Google, my Google form and I got a lot of feedback. Yes, I wanted to create the course and I realized that that's what they need. See, funny enough, I wanted to change the direction of my course, but I'm not changing it again because I had a session where I spoke with people in that session. So someone invited me to take a webinar and it was via text instead of video webinar. Um, and I said, okay, no problem. I will still do it when I text. The, the last time I did text webinar was in 2020, 2019, 2020. I've been doing video webinars since then. But I just wanted to do, and in the text webinar, I asked them what their problem is as a freelancer. And all of them are saying, Client, 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 client. I remember that that's why I created my name, the name of my course as Client Magnet. It's because of what people are always saying about what their problem is. So why not research your audience and ask them for what their pain point is and create, you can create the title of your product from that pain point. You know, so that's an idea. Um, just price it very good so that you get profit. And let me not go deep into this. Then the next thing is distribution. So after you create your product, after you've priced it, you need to distribute. You know, I like to say content is king, but distribution is queen. I like this, you know, um, I have to look for it very well. I like this, uh, I like the quotes. Uh, you can create the best content, but if you don't distribute it very well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get results. Now, there are different ways to promote your product when you create a product. You know, some of you will ask, oh, okay, I've created this ebook, I've created this, uh, a video course, I've created this short course. How will I sell it? Let me tell you. You can do organically or you can do paid. Now, let me give you some strategies. Those, these strategies are free, don't worry. When you want me, if you want me to coach you, I'll, I'll charge you my money because it's, it will cost me my time. Now, let me explain something to you. All you need is the first testimonial. Let me teach you the case. Let me just give you a case study. If you are going to grow organically, let me explain something to you. All you need to do is to get the first testimonial. And for you to get the first testimonial, you don't even need to sell your product. So you can create an ebook, for example. And I did that strategy in one of my ebooks, even though I don't need to, but I just did this in one of my ebooks. So I created, when I created 30 proposal, 30 proposal templates ebook, I gave five people for free. And in exchange, I want them, I wanted them to read the ebook and give me feedback on the ebook. So five of them read the ebook, they gave me feedbacks and the feedback they gave me, I screenshotted it as the testimonial for the ebook. You know, so that's one way to start. Um, so as, as I said, there are different ways to promote your product, social media, email marketing, search engine, content marketing. Um, you can, you know, offer discount promotions, use affiliate to promote your product, use YouTube, use ads, just market your product. Now, how can you use your product to get dollars? This is the point. This is the slide. This is the most important slide here. I want you to look at all these platforms here. All these platforms here. 
some of them are more expensive than others. Some of them have, have good free versions. I want you to look at all these platforms here. Pay attention to them. Don't worry, this slide, I'll send them to you. But look at these platforms here. You can go and create an account on all these platforms and target the international audience. Can you listen again? Create your product, your digital product, target the international audience with, with all these platforms I just listed. Yeah, I just showed you five different platforms. There are more than that, but these five are enough for you. Use these five platforms, target international audience, and people will be paying you to buy your course. People will be paying you to buy your ebooks. Now, I don't, have, I don't know if I have the time. I'll show you some things on Teachable. So I'm on the Teachable Premium because I use it to host my course. I also use Seller to host my course. So if people have problem with Seller, I, I move them to Teachable. So I pay every month for that. I also am premium on convert kids. I do. I, I have gum roads, but it's not premium. I have thinky fit. It's not premium. I don't have this one because I don't. Since I have four of them, I don't have the fifth one. So Teachable created is some something. Let's say created is what am I saying? Teachable created something. And I want you to pay attention to this thing. For you guys that say so, I don't even know how to create a curriculum. I have a course idea in my head. Teachable has an AI, and let's even digress into. You can go to ChatGPT. I've not even been mentioning ChatGPT since. You can go to ChatGPT or Google Bad to say, create a curriculum for me on, create a content plan for me on, create a uh, course content or a content, what do you call it? Is it content table for ebook? Just, you can just, you know, widen your horizon. So now the point I was trying to make is this. Teachable created, they integrated an AI that on Teachable, you can just give the AI your course idea and the AI will create all the curriculum for it for you. Now, that's like that's a very, very wonderful idea. So let's say you have a, a course plan. Let's say you have, let's say you have um, an idea of um, nutrition for nursing mothers or fitness plan. I was, I'm just thinking of co content idea now. Fitness plan for nursing mothers. You can create... Let's, I just give you the idea, and we can even try it. Maybe I'll show you practicals. You can, I will, I'll just show you. You can go to Google. You can go to Google. Um, um, you can go to Google, but go to ChatGPT, or you can use the Teachable, um, this thing, and it will automatically create a content plan for you. Let me see. I, I must show you people ChatGPT. Let me see how I can do ChatGPT here. Yeah. Using two screens. Yeah, so yeah, I find a way to show you ChatGPT. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's about um that's that's about this platform. So please don't pay, don't take this platform seriously and trust me, you can earn a lot of dollars, you know. Just uh yeah, there are a lot of marketing guidelines for you to sell your products, um, blah blah blah. But as I said, this these materials you are gonna have it. There's a way to run sales funnels. Um, there's a way to ensure that you also give after support. Um, yeah, I'm not just going to go deep into that. Now it's about your value. Always just create value and um, ensure that because this, trust me, if you can, if you can, if you can navigate this very well, if you can navigate it very well, uh, let me just see. Yeah. If you can navigate it very well, which is the part two of this session I'm, I'm showing you now, if you can navigate this very well, trust me, you'll be able to. Let me see if I can. I want to, yeah. If you can navigate it very well, you'll be able to, yeah. You'll be able to use, yeah. You'll be able to use, ah, uh, what am I doing? You'll be able to use um these platforms to earn, you know, dollars for yourself, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Now, I want to, I want to run some practicals for you when it comes to this part two I just showed you. I want to run some practicals for you. Let me just show you some of these things so you can learn. Uh, yeah, let me see. Yeah, so this is my chat GPT. I hope you can see my screen. So I'm just, I just log into my chat GPT. So if you can see my screen, just tell me, let me know. Just put it in the chat that you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? It's telling my body screen sharing. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you, yeah. So let me just, yeah. So now let's let's just run a case study. Let's so just create create a curriculum create a curriculum for a video course. Create a curriculum and um, 
course content plan for a video course based on can you give me any video any course idea you have in your head give me for those who have any idea they want to teach someone anything i can just use that with any course idea you have in your head let me just show you let me use let me give you an idea about to create a content plan for it or a curriculum for it do you have any course idea in your head or do you have any knowledge you can uh, yeah okay i've seen someone yes i've seen two uh yeah i've seen uh yeah see all these things wordpress designing everything you are everything you guys listed here trust me you can make a shit ton of money on these things let me use prenata exercise was the first one um prenata exercise and business analysis let's do video course based on prenata prenatal exercises See, can you see? Can you see? Can you guys see? Can you guys see? Weight loss, we'll use this one too. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see the curriculum? Module one, can you see? Module two, can you see? Can you guys see? Can you see? Managing, can you see? Are you with me? Can you see? You, can you see managing pregnancy addressing back? Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, I believe you can all see. Let's let's run through another one. Let's run through another one. Let's run through. Another, let's do. You can just input anything. You can go to ChatGPT. Do it yourself. Let's do like two or three. I'm just giving you these practicals. I'm going to show you other practicals. But can you guys see that with these ideas, you can create a content plan create videos, there are, there are apps that now allow you to edit videos for free. CapCut is one example, guys. Um, there, are, there are others on my on my phone, I've forgotten most of them. But CapCut, I know CapCut very well. I, I, I'm looking, I'll think of the others, I'll just remind you. Or you can use Google to say similar apps to CapCut. Google will give you the answer. Um, similar, yeah, similar apps to platform. Just always, anything you are looking for, I can't remember. Just look for something that you can remember. You type in similar apps to X, yeah, let's how to become a well paid social media manager. Let's let me let's use this one. I like this one, yeah. So let's I'll, I'll do like two more. Then you guys would you would just go and do it yourself. So you can create, we can. So this is remember that I in this thing I said video course based. See, so in your it can be ebook you want to create, it can be a template you want to create. So just see, guys, you don't need to be an, a guru. Before you start, you can start. I showed you how my how I started my own uh, ebook. So let's see how to be a well-paid social media manager. Let me let's use that one. They will use weight loss and business analysis. Sorry if, if I don't use your own. I just I'm just trying. I can't run through everything because we need to enter part three. Um, how to uh, let me see. Um, create a curriculum and a course content plan for a video on how to become a well-paid social media manager. Let's yeah, enter ChatGPT. Let's run through that. Where's the answer? Can you see? Course duration eight weeks. Becoming a well-paid social media manager. Can you see? So this is your course description. A course objective. Can you see? Learn how to analyze social media performance, social media advertising, proficiency in content creation. Module one, introduction to social media management, social media platform, understanding major social media platforms. Can you see? Social media strategy. This is for ChatGPT. Content creation and management, social media advertising, analytics and reporting, building a successful career. So you can just record videos on these 16 lessons. Some of them you will record yourself video. You can get a stand, a, a short stand. Ah, my stand is not here, it's in my other room. I'll just show you the stand I got to create for my course. You can get a short stand, put your, you can, if you have a smartphone, you don't even need a camera. If you have a good smartphone, maybe an iPhone or a good Samsung phone that has a good camera, you are good to go. It was my iPhone I used my iPhone 11. That's what I used to record all the video you see in FCN. So I know that in, I, would, I need to invest in camera in the future. But you can start with what you have. You can start. I didn't even use ring lights. I use natural lights. So there's a way you position yourself to the best natural lights when there's sun, and you get. I didn't use ring lights. So maybe later you start buying ring lights. You start buying all these things. So this is it. Can you see? Cosmat. Can you see? This is for. Let's do another one. Let's do maybe. Weight loss. 
Let's just do it, and that's all we move because we need to complete. We need to get to the third part. So you can see this. This is the second way to earn in dollars from your home. Like, if you have an idea, if you have any idea or any knowledge that you have, now let me give you another strategy again. That see, it's all about another thing you need to know is about curation, meaning that you add your own knowledge with the knowledge from other people. You will do research. Let's just go and look for. I like that weight loss. I like this weight loss. No, let me see. Yep. C, control C, control V. I like this weight loss. Create a curriculum. Then I'm going to do video course based on weight loss. Okay. So can you see that you don't need to stress yourself? Chargibility, just stress chargibility for yourself. So we've done that. Let's do. Then I'll, I'll do another one for you again. I'll, that will just be an ebook. I just run an ebook. So you can see this is three months, cost 12 weeks. See, introduction to weight loss, understanding the concept, setting realistic weight loss goals. So you can talk on all these things. You can create two, two, three, three minutes, five minutes. See, you don't even need to create 10 minutes or one, one hour. You can just be five, five minutes videos. And you just do your research on all these things. This thing alone, you can, let me even, let me even go for that again. You can make ChatGPT tell you, I want to understand, give me a, give me, let me just do it again for you people. Like, uh, oh, you guys, there's a lot you can even do with all these things. Let me just, uh, there's another thing I'll just show you and I'll move on. You can, every, each of these lessons, eh, you can just tell ChatGPT to tell you that, okay, well, understanding the concept of, of waste or control C, um, give me, give me a 500 paragraph, no, 500 word on the topic, the 500 word explanation. Explanation on the topic. I have some prompts, eBooks, maybe I'll add it to your free resource I want to give you. Understanding the concept of weight loss. So after it even creates each of them for you, after it creates each of these lesson plans for you, you can tell it to go deeper. Like you can tell it to explain each one for you, you know? So give me a 500 word explanation on the topic, understanding the concept of weight loss. So you can see, weight loss is a term that permits a discourse. So you can even see, you can refresh this thing or you can edit this thing to your word and this can be your scripts. So you can use your own words here. I'm already teaching you how to create the whole course self. <laughs> you can see, so see what we did here. We first told you to create the, um, the course plan. So you did that introduction, module one, module two. Then we now took each lesson one by one to create the scripts for your video. So lesson one, you can put it down like this. Then you can now copy it somewhere and start editing. You can edit um, some of the words to use your own words, you know, it's AI. So this can be your scripts. You can even create your script with ChatGPT, but let me not go deep into this, but so you guys, you get the drift. So, oh, I wanted to do one more thing, but this one will be for ebook. Um, create a curriculum and a content plan for an ebook based on. So if it's, if you don't want to do course, create a content plan. Is it content plan? They used to call it now. Content table. Content table for an ebook. For an ebook. Based on weight loss, yeah. Let's use content table. See, content table is to call it. I've forgotten the English. So let's use. Let's say it's ebook you want to create. Table of content. Yeah, table of content. So you can see, you can see. Can you see? So you can see. If it's ebook you want to create, you can even use ChatGPT to create the whole, the whole content table of content for your <laughs> table of content. I wanted to think of. For your ebook based on weight loss, based on business analysis, based on religion, based on finance, based on yeah. So you guys, you can see that everything you need to create, you can use ChatGPT. You can even use. Let's even go to Google Bad. Uh, let's let's use the same this this last one. Ebook based on. Let's use Google Bad. This is Google Bad. Uh, I think Google Bad is still there. Where is it? New chat. So this is Google Bad. Um, so you can enter the prompt. I've heard you. Enter the prompt here. 
And you see Google back to answer, you create a content table for an ebook based on weight loss. So you can use both of them. So you can see it will be different. So you can see Google back too. So you create, so you can, you know, match them together. So you can see. And one thing about Google Bad is Google Bad always have three different drafts. Uh -huh. If you have three different drafts, so you can see it's the weight loss journey, the realistic, the importance, understanding your body. So you can see, we can type anything here. There's one, okay, this is business analysis. Uh, yeah, okay, let's use business. I think I saw business analysis there. Let's use business analysis. Let's move to part three, ASAP. Let me just quickly conclude this. Yeah, based on business analysis, you will see. So you can you can research, you can do your research, you can create the ebook, you can design, see what is business analysis, the role of a business analyst. Can you see? Can you see everything you need? Understanding business, collaborating, solution design, business analysis, AI. So you can see. And yeah, you can check the different drafts. You can check other drafts too. Let's check draft three here. You can see, you can see business analysis, agile and DevOps, the future of business analysis. Yeah. I just show you some practicals. This same thing is also on um, Teachable. They also have something like that. Yeah, you can use to create your content plan, your curriculum plan. Your... So you can see everything you need to be successful. You already have all these things there and you all the guidance you need. Um, yeah, you can create content plan, you can create. So when you create these things, you just you know learn how to navigate. I showed you those platforms. Uh, let me show you again. Let me just stop sharing and show you again. So I showed you those platforms. Um, uh, these platforms. You can go to these platforms. Uh, let's let me share. Yeah, you can go to these platforms. Uh, yeah. Uh, teachable, teachable. You can ebooks and courses on Teachable. Combat Kit is an email platform but it has a product display place where you can also sell your courses, create a landing page. Gumroad is like a storefront. Gumroad is like seller. The way seller is from there is for Nigeria. Gumroad is for Europe and, and, or for, for the world. So Gumroad, what I think is a course that you have for ebook, you can do Gumroad. What is a course that you have, you can do Thinkific. And Kajabi is, you know, is a premium platform, like for, for the big boys. Yeah, so this, these platforms will help you convert your money to, um, as in, to convert your skills, your experience, your knowledge to dollars. Like, because you can just Google all these platforms. You can check them out. Trust me, just check them out. Uh, let me see if I can even open one or two of them for you. But you can just check them out yourself. You all have smartphones. You all have good phones. Please, go and check all these things. Um, let me see, Teachable. Don't log into my Teachable account. So that's where it will log into. Okay, didn't log in yet. Let me share with you. Oh, yeah. So yeah, so that's that's it. Let's move to part three and round up this session. Lisa. we've been talking for too long. Um, so this is um this is Teachable's website, for example. So and as you can see, I like the copy on the website. Share what you know will help you get paid for it. It's as simple as that. Um, you can start for free. You have the free part, the free version is limited, but only you can start with what you have and you know grow. When, by the time you can afford to pay for the premium version, you can pay for those premium version. But you can see, and they have they have teachable university. Think if it has a lot of free courses. So see, free plan, they have free plan. See, you can start on these plans, trust me. And you can see, pro, 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 see, upload your content, start for free. You can see, and you can just, you know, yeah, it's free. They have free plan. They have, I, have, I, I know that I think it makes free plan to make a lot of sense. So this is teachable. Let's check another one. Think if it's... See, you guys, you have Google, you have your phone. Go and check all these things. Think, think if it even has, they have a university for course creation. Think if it has that. So yeah, turning your expertise into revenue. Can you see? Create and sell courses, see, on a single platform. So yeah, as you can see, it's, they have resources. They have Thinkific Academy that has a lot of free stuff. So you can go to this freaking Thinkific Academy. I mean, go and watch their videos there. Let me even click it for you so you see. All the videos there are free training. And how to start and grow your online education business. See, it's free. Can you see free courses? They are free. Sign up for free. Can you see grow your, see, build your content. 
webinar, secrets, blah, blah, blah. Everything here is free. They have free Thinkific workshops they've done. They have free videos they've done. Everything is free. Three things to get started. See, you can go there and everything, free Thinkific courses. So you can see, see, it's free. You guys, you know, I just, I, you don't even need to, so um, I don't have money. I don't have, no, no, no. All these things here, they are all free. Yeah, you can create a free Thinkific account. So they have AI, you know, all of them now have AI tools too. So, so you can see, yeah. I wanted to show you this one. So yeah. Um, that's all. That's all. That's the second part. Uh, yeah, that's the second part. Um, no, Teachable is not limited to only video courses. Depending on how you want to create the video, the course. Um, yeah, it's not. They are not limited to video courses alone. You can create. Yeah, yeah. I love Thinkific. I love. I have. I'm on Teachable, and I love Thinkific. So yeah. So let's let me move to part three. Most of you already know part three, but I'm just going to talk about part three briefly. Um, the people who are expert in part three, um, on the third part where you can earn dollars, uh, people have been, you know, people have called it different names for you, but just know how to, it's more like an extension, extension of part two, but they are different, they are different. They are, is it looks similar to part to everything I've mentioned in part two, but they are different. Like they are similar, but at the same time, they are also different. Um, yeah, let me just run to part three, sir. I want this thing and allow me to do what I want to do. Let me just share my screen and run through it so that we can conclude this session. So I've started, I started this session teaching you how to make money with freelancing and remote work. You can make dollars with your skills. Now I move to courses, digital products. Let me just end with a familiar topic for some of you. But for some, for others, you can be hearing it for the first time. But let me just explain in simple terms what it is. That's also another way for you to earn dollars from your house, from your bedroom, from your bed. Uh, yeah. Uh, mostly tech jobs. Tech jobs give people the opportunity to jack up with remote jobs. Core tech. When I mean tech jobs, I mean core tech, like all this um, software development, all this uh, front end, back end. DevOps, cloud computing, even sometimes products design, but you know, it's not as core as all this. But if I tech brew, if I core tech, what is um core tech skills with your, you know, what is their tech stack, all this stack. If you have all this stack, I forgot, I don't know how to put it, but when you have those skill sets, it's easy for you to to jack out, you know, remotely with it. Yeah, but it's mostly core tech. So yeah, now. The last one, the third one I want to talk about is, um, yeah, full stack. Yeah, but apart from full stack, you know, front, the front end, back end, then um, cloud and DevOps, then because within those space, when you can enter those space, those are the ones that, yeah, let me just, let me land part three with these guys so that we can conclude. Um, Yeah, Amazon KDP, book publishing. Now, a lot of you might have heard from it. A lot of you might see people talking about it. So that's another, this is another way for you to, for this one, I'm just going to go surface level. I'll share these resources with you. With you. Um, I'll share this slide with you that I've created. This is just me creating something for this session. Um, I just did this today. Uh, so you can see this, this slide. You can see I still on my, the name of the slide is still document four. I just did it today. So what is Amazon KDP? Um, they are a major player in the publishing. This is about self-publishing eBooks. So when you see people talking about Amazon KDP, it means just become a self-publisher. That means you don't need people to publish for you. You know, instead of getting publishers, you are the one publishing yourself. And so that is called, it's called self-publishing. Now, how does it work? You can upload your files on the platform using the right format. Uh, and Amazon KDP is the platform. Um, you upload your book, you, use the, you format it the right way that they tell you to format it, and they'll pay you for selling it on Amazon. Amazon has one of the biggest number of people on their platform. Um, they have, as in, these are some of the benefits. You don't need inventory. They have wide distribution, higher royalties, authorized publishing time. And um, yeah, so like they, they, they pay you really. And um, yeah, if you are selling books, uh, you can sell paperback, you can sell, um, ebooks and you know there are some that amazon will charge you for there are some that um they would give you the royalties for 
Now, and they pay royalty to, to you regularly. You know, you get those royalty withdrawn to you in a particular period of time. Um, as soon as you as as you get the sales, uh, you get this royalty, and this is one of the you know the publishing costs. Um, depending on the, I know that I know that when you set your figure, when the cost of your ebook, uh, when your when your price is nine point nine nine. There's a range you get paid, but if it's more than 9.99, you get in. So there's a way the reality is 35%, 70%, blah, blah, blah. It's different. But I'm just showing you this to open you up to the idea when it comes to part three. Um, you can, you can, you know, structure your book. This is why I want to end. I don't even want to go deep. Uh, so create, structure your book. This, this slide is plenty. I'll send it to you for free. I'll send you, I'll give all of you the, the slide. I'm, I'm still creating it. I'll give all of you the slide. Um, so, but the idea is when your book has title page, copyright page, table of content, the body, the back matter. Um, so the Amazon KDP is one way to you can sell your idea. So right now, we can combine part two and part three in the sense that, so let's say for the person that has, um, let's look at, let's look at, um, yeah, let's go back to, let's go back to our chat GPT. For the person that has the, um, for the person that has the prenatal idea, let me just go to ChatGPT again. For the person that has prenatal idea, it means you can create an ebook on prenatal and sell it, sell that same ebook on Gumroad, sell that, then create a video course on it on Teachable. Um, Gumroad can be your front shop uh, for even Teachable. You can link Gumroad to Teachable. So for the person that has the prenatal idea, let me just give you some case studies. Um, for the person that has the first person, prenatal idea, where is it? Yeah, prenatal exercise idea. So that means that you can use ChatGPT maybe to create a table of content for your ebook, create an ebook. You can sell that same ebook on Gumroad, sell the same ebook on Amazon KDP, create a video, a, a video course, sell that video course on Teachable, and you are going to be paid in dollars for this things. You know, so for this person that has a weight loss idea too, that's also another idea. Now these things are not, they are simple, but they are not easy because they take work commitment. I'm teaching you all this. I know someone that teaches people how to create courses from beginning, she will teach you. You know, she, she will go in depth, yes, more than what I'm doing for you, but I can also go in depth if I want to. It's for the sake of time, I want to round up. I've been talking for one hour, 30 minutes. Now she will go in depth and she charges $30,000 for, for her services. I once showed my, my team members our account, our, our Instagram profile. They thought I was joking and they saw the price there. So guys, you can use all these ideas. So I've told, I've showed you three different ideas. I want to round up so I can take questions. I'll show you different ways. Um, I can go deeper than this. Five hours, I'm still here, but I want to just end this year. Um, send you the resources here. Some of the resources, some, all these slides that I used, I will send it to you. I'll send it to everybody that registered. Um, then you can just pick it up from there and, you know, just, you know, take it up from there now. And that way you're not limited to NERA. So whether it is freelancing and remote work you want to be doing, whether it is courses you want to create, video, if you don't like to show yourself in video, whether it is eBooks you want to create, you can use Amazon Kindle, Amazon KDP to sell your eBooks, get dollars, to sell your skills on freelancing platform, get dollars, or sell your knowledge, there are courses on these platforms I've showed you, get dollars. So these are three different ways to get dollars. Um, some of the things you might need, you might need to have a Payoneer account. A Payoneer is one of the best ways to receive money, even from Amazon KDP, for those who are in Nigeria. Um, Payoneer is one of the best ways. Then you can also have a WISE account, TransferWISE, if you can open it. Um, yeah, so when you can have all these things, it's easy for you to collect your money, collect your dollars. And from your Payoneer, you can send your money to GeekPay, send it to Gray, send it to Payoneer exchangers to exchange your money for you. That way, you're earning in dollars. It can be your side hustle, it can be your main hustle. I just want you to, because the point, what I said I was going to show you is the three different ways to earn in dollars. And I've just showed you three different ways. Um, for those who are who attended the session last week, we did with the fair. Um, when you earn these dollars, you can also save and invest uh, with dollar you know dollar based investment dollar based savings i'm not going to talk about that it's not my field but for those who are in the, who are in the session last week you guys learned that so that's to tell you that even when you learn 
when you earn this money or when you earn the dollars, you can also invest and save in dollars, get dollars-based securities, dollar-based investment and end with it. Um, I hope with this few points of mine, I hope you guys have been able to learn. Um, I'll, have, I'll have, have the time to just you know go deep into this, but man, it's taking a lot of time. I just let me let me just start taking questions now. Let me just start taking questions now and yeah, we can call it a day. Now I can see a question. So if you have questions now, put it because even if you've wrote, if you've written the question before, write it again because other people's question will have taken over it. So I would like to start taking questions now. And if you are writing questions on YouTube, some of my assistants can help me go to YouTube, my live stream. If you see any con con a question there, you can copy it on my on this Zoom. Yeah, I have to start answering questions. So she so she really asked the first question. She says, "How can we drive free traffic traffic to our eBooks for a start before considering paid adverts?" Now, this is a very good question. So no matter the eBooks you are creating, you should have. Let me show my video for you. No matter the ebook you are creating, you should have um, an audience for it who wants to buy it, right? And so, how do you create free traffic to it? First of all, you need to make noise about the ebook, and you need to start making noise now. Even if you don't have any community, you have um, people in your WhatsApp contacts. Now, one of the things you can do to create free traffic to it is that you can give people for free. Now, you have to be strategic. Don't just give anybody for free. Give people that are going to read it. So, read. Give people that will read it. And um, I would like to just give people that will read it and um, let them, the only payments they will pay you is that they must drop a feedback for you. And that feedback, oh, they read the ebook and they say, oh, I love the ebook. And that feedback uh, becomes your testimonial, right? That feedback becomes testimonial. And um, you can start with that. Now, another thing you can do free is to leverage other people's network. Now, when I mean leverage your people's network, you created you created an ebook. You have people in your status. You can tell them to help you post it on their own status too. So that means you are leveraging their network for free. Now, ensure that you are someone that you do stuff for people too, so that they are, they will be ready to do things for you too for free. Don't be someone that you don't do anything for them and they will not have any motivation to help you. So do that. Then start talking on your social media channels. Start talking about yourself on groups. And I think in LinkedIn, I mentioned how you can join some LinkedIn groups to talk. Uh, before you plug in your ebook, or maybe you created an ebook, before you plug it in, why not just give free content first? So let's say you are in a group that has plenty members. People don't want to be sold to, so you need to be strategic. When, when you give value, people will come to you and they'll be like, ah, do you have an ebook where you talked about this so I can buy? So, but why not join all these Facebook groups? Why not join all these? Um, LinkedIn groups and just be talking, be giving value for free. It can be value from your ebook. Just be talking about them for free. Now, don't do as if you know you want to sell anything. They will be the one to ask you to sell something. So those are ways to drive free traffic to yourself, pending the time you can afford um, paid traffic. So yeah, I think that's the first questions I'm able to answer. Um, let me see. Let me see. Oh, how can I even see all these things now? They are not covering themselves. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if you have more questions, I'll take them. I want it just to pop out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see. Do you pay before posting your ebook? So it's ebooks that they do on Amazon. No, you don't pay. Amazon KDP, you don't pay to post your ebook, but you can pay to 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 run ads. So Amazon also has, you know, because Amazon is an e-commerce platform. They have people that come to their platform. So and for even books, for other stuff, Amazon has a company of companies. Like they have other stuff that they have bought, Goodreads, um, Audible. They have other things that they bought that they can help you market their stuff. You know, it's a way for them to make money too. So yeah. Um, so those when you want to pay to run all these ads. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah. I like your comments. Um, so basically, you need to understand that uh, sometimes I'm busy and I just want you to, I want to acknowledge, acknowledge your comments. That's why I'm liking it. You said you want to learn sales and marketing. What's the best book to go and read? Go and read Psychology of Selling. That's one of the best books on sales and marketing. Go and read Psychology of Selling by Brian Tracy. Um, Psychology of Selling by Bantresi, Advanced Selling by Bantresi. Start with that. 
after you finish reading those two, come to me. I'll tell you what other things to read. Um, do you need VPN for this remote site? No, you don't. How can my book become a bestseller on Amazon? Man? That one, I'm not an Amazon pro, so, but I know that if you have the right keywords and if you if you are in the right niche, and uh, there's a way you can make your book bestseller. But there are strategies to that. I'm not going to go deep into that because it's not really my space. I'm interested in learning virtual assistants. Is he advising me to get my course? Yeah, 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 you can get it because I'll get you the resources you need to learn um, and support. Yeah, you can get it. Yeah. Would you advise a new startup on remote creator sites? No, I've said don't use VPN. No. I've told you not to use VPN. No. How else can you receive from payment from Gumroad? Wise, transfer wise. Must you create video course? No, video course is for all those, all those other sites. It's ebooks only for Amazon. Yep, 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 yep. Let me see. I'm seeing your questions. Please, if you have questions, uh, let me talk about your questions. Um, between video courses and ebook, which one is likely to sell more? Better create both. Uh, create both and see. Do A B testing. Anyone that sells, double down on it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let me see, let me see, let me see. Is Teachable Limited to can answer that? So I'm taking your questions. If you have more questions, yeah. Let me just, yeah, I'll just conclude on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've just showed you different, three different ways you can end. Um, I hope you guys can, you know, use, some people ask questions at the beginning and they are not asking this question again. Well, if I answer and leave, I'm gonna mind my business. Um, yeah, with this few points of mine, I hope I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you. Um, if you have more questions, I believe I have time to take questions. Uh, but if you don't have questions, let me go and watch Netflix or Amazon Prime. I have them open on my dashboard. I don't know if you saw them. I'm gonna watch. So I showed you how to use Chat GPT. I showed you, first of all, let me just rephrase or let me talk about the things I've showed you guys. And if I had more time, I would have showed you more, but let me just, you know, yeah. I showed you guys how to, I showed you, I was started with freelancing and remote work. Um, I showed you platforms, I showed you things. If you miss this session, you can always watch the recording or you can watch my live stream on YouTube, it's free. Even this recording, I'll share it to everybody that registered. Now, I think it's the live stream I will share, that one is better. Now, we started with freelancing and remote work which is part one of how to end with your, how to end dollars from the comfort of your home in Nigeria. So freelancing and remote work, using your skill set, using your experience, using your knowledge. Then we moved to digital products, courses, eBooks. Then I showed you, even if you have no knowledge at all, I showed you how to use, um, I, showed how to, I showed you everybody how to use ChatGPT to generate course content. I showed you how to use uh, ChatGPT to generate ChatGPT is free, you know, Allah. I use, I showed you how to use ChatGPT to generate a lot of stuff. If you can, if you want to pay for the ChatGPT 4.0, that's when you can pay. It's free. Google Badge is also an alternative. There's Chat AI. What's that one? What is the Chat AI? Is it Chat AI? I forgot the name. They told me one chat. There are plenty of them now that they are AI and they will respond. They will give you what you want. Um. So I showed you those ones. I showed you how to use Chat in case you don't have any knowledge or you don't have anything. You don't even know how to create curriculum. You don't know how to create content plan or course content. You don't even know how to create modules for your course, but you have your the name of your course in your head. I gave you how to use ChatGPT to generate all these things. Then I also showed you how to, the platforms where you can sell your courses, Gumroad, ConvertKit, Teachable, Thinkific, Kajabi, Podia. Is it Podia or Podio? There's a whole lot of them that I've not mentioned. These are places where you can sell your ideas to in the international audience. Now, another thing you need to note, which I did not mention, is that when you are creating stores for the international audience, guys, ensure that you tailor it towards them in the sense that you can generate subtitles. They are, even Teachable has something that generates automatic subtitles for you. I know that um, if, you are, if you are editing your video with CapCut, you can generate automatic subtitles. You can even edit it. and um, Yeah, so you can edit your video with CapCut for you. I don't know, I've just mentioned giving them free promo. But it's, when you create a good product, people will talk about it. So you can use it to generate um, subtitles. So we can remember that your, maybe your word, you know, just like you are listening to an Indian guy speaking English. You know, you might not hear some things very well, but if there's subtitles, it will help you. 
So if you know that you're targeting the international audience, put subtitle because trust me, you have assets. Because we're talking to each other, it does not look like we have assets. But when you start talking to whites and international people, you will know that you have assets. So you can create subtitles for your stuff, make it good video, good standard, and sell your stuff on all these platforms. Then I ended it with part three with Amazon KDP, where you can create ebooks, sell these ebooks. There are ways, you know, there are people that have gone done. There are some free materials I think I have too. I, if I see them, I'll add it to this stuff. I'm saying that would have done created videos on how to become an KDP expert. There are a lot of them that have created resources for you. There are a lot of things you can watch on YouTube to learn these things on your own without paying anybody anything. And if you want to pay, get the right courses because please learn to pay too. But just that free alone is if you are determined, free, you can start with free. But when you have money, then you pay too. Because when you pay, you save time. Yeah. So I've done all those things for you. And I believe, um, yeah, I will send this content to the people that registered. And I keep on saying that. Um, I've answered big three that have gone road pace to transfer wise. You did not answer my question. Which question did you ask that I did not answer? Um, for LinkedIn jobs, they ask if you are eligible to watch transfer. See, so. You just, when you see LinkedIn job, I keep on asking if you're eligible to work in the USA. They're asking for they're asking for social security number. So you don't you don't qualify. Don't just break your heart. Keep on looking for jobs that you will not have restriction with. There will be jobs like that that can hire you without asking whether you can work in the USA or not. Um, yeah. What's the best software to use to record tutorial videos? Very good question, Kingsley. Um, let me give you some of them. There's Camtasia. You can use Camtasia. You can use Loom, you can use Movavi, you can use Ice Cream Screen Recorder. I use Ice Cream Screen Recorder a lot. Just Google them. So let me give you a site, Kingsley, because of the question you asked. Uh, what's the best software to use to record tutorial videos? There's a site, there's a free site. Ah, let me see. I'm recorded on YouTube. Don't worry, this is me. This will get lost into my inside my team. People will not even really watch this part. So yeah. There's a free site. It's a free site, getintopc.com. So you guys can check that site. If you, so, so Kingsley, when you go to getintopc.com, you can get all these stuffs for free. Yeah, I'm giving you cheat code. I don't used to mention all these things outside. So Camtasia, Movavi, is, is there any of them? Is, one of them is okay, but I'm mentioning like multiple of them so you can try them. So Camtasia, Movavi, um, even CapCut self is good. Yes, you can use CapCut to record yourself. Like, no, you can't use it to record. You can use it to edit. Capcode is for editing. You said recording. To record, Camtasia, Movavi, and um, Ice Cream Screen Recorder. Then the Loom. There's a ways of people know how to use Loom, and it works for them very well. So Loom too works. L W M, L W M. That's Loom. So Camtasia, Movavi, Ice Cream Screen Recorder. Then Loom. Then you can just Google similar sites, similar. Similar apps to these things. I've just mentioned four of them to you. Just tell, just ask Google similar sites or similar platforms that you can screen record your tutorial videos on. But I use, I've used Movavi. I use Movavi to record my Upwork course. I've used, I use Ice Cream Screen Recorder to record FCM. I still use it to today. It's like it's just easy for me to use Ice Cream Screen Recorder. And um, yeah, those two, I love those two. Yeah, Loom, I've used Loom, but I don't know why I'm not a fan of Loom like that. Yeah. So that's those those are that's the answer to your questions, Kingsley. Please, you want to be mentored by me, you need to send me a DM, man. It's not for this. Um, do you offer mentorship? Yes, I offer. I offer them. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's asking for my course. Uh, my course. I have my course. I mean, okay, cool. I will mention. I will sell myself, Jerry. I don't want to. Talk, I didn't want to talk about selling courses here before. Uh, my course, you have, there's the link to my course. Um, how would I put it? There's the course, the one that comes with support, the one that does not come with support. Now, everybody that is asking for my course, just send me a DM. Ah, I'm sending that DM. Man. I have like 1,000 on answer messages. Um, yeah, so I have a course. Yes, I recommend you get the course if it's for freelancing you want. Um, if you want to switch to freelancing, just so yes, my course is, is perfect for you. I recommend you get the one that comes with weekly support. So there are two options. It's for 5K in Naira. I can't mention the dollar part now. Okay? For those in dollars, just get the dollar part. The dollar part is like 67 US. But for 5K in Naira for the cost only, for 75K in Naira for, and that's about $145, $147. For 
for course and weekly support. Yeah, you'll be supported to the end of the year. Um, to the end of, I said the end of the year. So you'll be supported to next year. Don't worry, I have plans to support my student all the way. Oh yes, yeah, so that's the answer to that. Um, yeah. I'll send the slides to everybody. Um, I've answered that. Oh, they also asked if I would need air relocating to their country. Uh, those jobs, except you have a US visa, that's when you can take in those jobs. Those things, just look for the ones that won't require these ones first. The day you now jack by hand, you'll not be able to take all these ones. Um, Katra, yeah, fantastic, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. What's the best AI tool? You, know, you need to ask, what do you know? You need to ask this best AI tool to use. You need to ask Google <laughs> to translate Spanish to English. You need to ask Google. Best AI tool to use to translate AI to Spanish to you. Just ask Google the same question you're asking me. Um, must you create a video course? No, as I've said one over and over. Um, Amazon is for ebooks, video course is for teachable and go. Someone asked for your handle earlier. Oh, yeah, my handle. Um, meeting group chats. Yes, so this is my handle at Bengabi. Thank you for oh, see for, for today. I just wanted to talk about and then you just talk about um all the things. My handle is my handle on Instagram and Twitter. So I have Twitter space tomorrow. Same time. I'll just everything I've said here, I'll just say it again. Instagram, Twitter, at Bengabi, that's my handle. And my email is Bengabi. You all got a message from my email, so that's my email. My email is Bengabi at gmail.com. I purposely use my email to send it to you, so that in case you want to reply me, you just reply the email. My email is Bengabi at gmail.com. Yeah, that's all, yeah. Mm, yeah. So yeah, I, I believe with this few point of mind, I believe I've been able to show you three. Now there are more ways. I just want to let to limit myself to these three so that you can start with these three. But there are more ways to end dollars on your house. There are more ways apart from these ones I've mentioned. But at least even use this one first. Maybe I'll now do part two. I'll do part two of this. I'll do part two of this session, maybe in the future, to, to give you the more ways. But there are more ways. But why not just start with these ones I've showed you first? Mm -hmm. There are more ways to end dollars from your house in Nigeria that will not make you leave your room safe and just with your computer. But we'll start with these ones, use these ones, and um, end those dollars. You know, and if you have questions, I think I can still be here for five more minutes. But after that, I need to rest. Yeah. If there are no questions, we'll call it a day. And guys, the goal is for you to end dollars. And yeah, I've been able to show you those three ways. I hope, I hope. You guys take action with it. Yes. 